G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now you've invested a lot of time and effort in architecting your, uh, your metadata around your document libraries. Now, what about um, having the ability to insert that metadata into the actual physical document of um, that, that's residing in that document library? So you can see on the screen here, that we've got some some really uh, important uh, and informative information that we're holding in our metadata column. So we've got policy status, we've got next review date. Um, so what about uh, you know being able to insert that SharePoint metadata actually into the document itself? So we can utilize uh, quick parts and bring in those document or those SharePoint metadata values into the document. And whether we insert that into a footer or into the actual uh, body of the document, um, it gives us some, some really good flexibility and capabilities to be able to bring and merge in that content. So let's have a look at how we go about doing it. So you can see here in this library, as I mentioned, we've got policy status, we've got policy owner, and we've got next review date. Now, I'm just going to jump into this 365 proposal document. It's going to open up in Office Online or Word Online first. Then I'm just going to open it in my client application of Word. Okay, so I'm going to open it in the desktop app. It's going to open up here. Let's just close this down and we'll open up the Word document. So it's a blank document, not that exciting. But when we go to insert and then we go to the quick parts and we go to document property, what we can see here is that we can uh, insert the next review date we can set the policy status and we can insert that into the document. So if we go to policy status, you can see that it's set to expired. So I'm just going to enter a, a couple of line breaks here. And let's now insert another document property called uh, next review date. So let's pop in next review date. So we've got two of those uh, document uh, SharePoint properties in there now. So if I just move this out the way a little bit, and let's just jump into the project team, uh, the document library here. So you can see it's expired and we've got the next review date. So if we jump back to uh, the Word document, we can see that that relates and that's the same thing right there. All right. So having the ability to combine your uh, work that you're doing with the metadata in your SharePoint document library and being able to bring that into SharePoint uh, into the actual documents itself provides a really um, great interaction and in integration point and then we can uh, combine the both so we can see here that also I can actually set this so you can see that I can set the it's set to policy status and let's go to change that to active and we can then change that uh, that quick part to active it's saving um, and now let's just wait for that to save and then we'll jump back into the team's policies like so and we'll refresh this page and let's see what happens so we can see here that that metadata value has actually changed to active because we change that through the uh, through the quick part web part here so we can do the same thing with a date all right so we can say next review date let's uh, set that to the 31st all right so now what's going to happen is that 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 is going to once that's saved it's going to reflect back into uh, back into the document library and the SharePoint properties. So a lot of times we have conversations with customers about, um, you know, not having the ability to set the metadata uh, inside of, you know, when we're working on documents. And we talk about this flow of work quite often. So having this ability to interact with your SharePoint metadata inside the document really does enhance that uh, that that work and that the flow of work. So you don't have to go back to you know, save this document and then go back to the document library and set the metadata in multiple steps. We can just do it in one step inside the actual document. So I hope that brings you some value today. Um, and thanks for um, thanks for subscribing to The Daily Dose. And I really do appreciate everybody that is subscribing. So if you do have any questions or comments or any content that you would like to see, pain points that you're having, or just would like to know um, more information about a certain part of Microsoft 365, just hit the, hit the reply button 
of the email. Uh, you've got all my contact details. Shoot me through a message and I'll be more than happy to create some content around that because there is no doubt if you've got a question, it's going to help other people as well. So once again, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.